to turn now to the Bakersfield City School District's final decision regarding summer school for this upcoming year. 23 ABC's Vanessa Romo was at the final meeting tonight and joins us now in studio with what's expected to happen this summer. Vanessa. That's right. The discussion about summer school was short, but it definitely left an impact on many students and parents. One parent even coming to tonight's meeting in hopes of a last minute summer school reinstatement. The Bakersfield City School District making a final decision Tuesday night not to reinstate full summer school this summer and instead go forward with its new summer learning program. I'm a little upset because, like I said, I still had hope. My kids were still excited about having them change their mind at the last minute. It's not going to be the case. Cecilia Delgado, a parent of a fifth and eighth grader at BCSD, says she's been holding out hope since the decision to cut summer school was made last December. They're going to be losing out a whole lot, especially the opportunity they have on learning, because every day they learn a different thing. So now they're not going to have that, unfortunately. According to the school district, its decision to cut the $1.7 million program was based on high cost and low attendance. Officials say they'll use the money they save on other programs. We're not reaching the students we want to reach, so we're taking time this year to to plan for the future as to how we can make the program more efficient. When you're spending that, those kinds of dollars, you really want to make sure that it's paying off in the long run. But after an outcry from parents, students, and even Dolores Huerta, BCSD announced an alternative to summer school in March. We believe that summer school should be focused on remedial services, catching kids up, and we're going to redesign that program. So we're taking somewhat of a pause on a large program this summer and focusing on four specific schools this summer, all who were identified by the state of California as needing to improve. Those schools, Casa Loma Elementary, Longfellow, Stella Hills, and Emerson in middle school. But Delgado, like many BCSD parents, isn't happy with the alternative solution and still has questions on where the $1.7 million the district is saving will go to now. At this point, they haven't said what they're doing with the money. Um, at the last meeting I was here, I, I talked about the shirt that I'm wearing now, where it says every minute counts. Given to her by BCSD years ago. And now all of a sudden, I guess every minute doesn't count because they're eliminating the program.